Hi guys, this is Bill from Spencer1984.com with an update about what's on the bench. With the General Lee temporarily on hold as the clear coat dries, I decided to take a look at some old projects that I had laying around. One of these was Milner's Coop from American Graffiti. This is the old Ravel diecast kit, came out around 2002 I believe, and it was something that I had put together at the time, basically box stock, did a little bit of paint work on it, but I was never really satisfied with it, so it just kind of got set on a shelf and forgotten about. Uh, the biggest problem that I had with it was the seam in the middle of the body where the two pieces of the die cast came together. So I decided that since pretty much everything else was done, I would take it apart and fix that one major problem with it and uh, hopefully have something that I was finally satisfied with. So I did the disassembly, I stripped the body, I uh, repainted it Krylon Sun Yellow, which seems like a pretty close match to the fenders and the uh, radiator shell. Uh, it might not be an exact match, but there's going to be a little bit of distance between them, so as long as it's pretty close, uh, that should be decent. And overall, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I'm still waiting for things to dry on it, and then I'm going to have to paint the roof panel and then clear coat everything. And here on the engine, I had drilled out for spark plug wires, but I didn't do anything with the distributor cap. I'm not entirely sure why I did that, but there we go. So, uh, I am going to wire the engine, maybe add fuel lines or some other small details to it, and then that'll finally be finished. The other thing that I was working on from the same series is Falfa's 55 Chevy. Now, what Ravel did with this was they built it as it could have existed in 62, instead of the actual movie car, which was originally from two-lane blacktop, but had a lot of features like the big block 454 that just did not exist in 1962. And although I thought that was pretty cool, I did miss some of the other things that they skipped out on. Uh, what they did was they based this mostly on the rollover scene, and so it had the stock A-frame front suspension, uh, it had a full exhaust system, and other details that Although they were correct, they weren't really part of the American Graffiti car. As you can see here, I started work on the major difference between the stock 55 and the movie 55, which was the flip front nose. I had actually gone through and sliced off the front fenders and glued the hood in place, epoxied everything together, cut off the screw mounts, and removed everything under the hood as far as the inner fenders, the stock firewall, and so on. You can see here I also supercharged the engine, which although it wasn't shown or mentioned in the movie, the script for the movie did mention that it was supposed to be blown, so I just decided to throw that in there as a fun extra. I did also convert the front end to a beam axle. I've got the white walls turned in, and the supremely shortened exhaust system. And you might be able to see by the dust on the roof that this has also been sitting out for quite a while. And so if I can get these two finished, uh, it'll be a pair of movie cars that has sort of been in process for about 12 years now and it'll be nice to finally see them actually finished. So that's it for now. Next week I'm going to be at New York Comic Con 2014, and I will update both the website and here with anything of interest. And after that, I will be posting some updates on both these two, as well as the generally as they all progress. Thanks for watching.